Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So if you recognise this outfit, I actually just filmed my introduction to our new puppy, Sully. If you haven't seen that already before this video, then I'll link that down below if you're interested. But let's get into today's video, which is all about Audi's new skincare launches. Audi are definitely on their skincare game at the moment. There is so many exciting new launches, but I have to say this one I was the most excited for and I know I had a couple of you guys ask me if I would review this so I managed to pick up four things. There was actually a ton of new launches including makeup as well. This was the leaflet. These launched about a week and a bit ago but I think because there was so much stuff um, launching that you most probably will still be able to get your hands on some or even most of these products. I know I do have to go to quite a few Audis to hunt down certain things that I'm after. Um, but what I'm gonna be talking about today is obviously the skincare. And also if you hear some running around, that is Sunny getting very excited, so excuse that. Hopefully he'll calm down soon um, because he does get tired after playing for a long while. Anyway, the new launches in skincare were another hot cloth cleanser. This is a vitamin C one, but I didn't pick this up just because I had recently reviewed the pink clay one and the whole pink clay collection. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that down below. And generally these hot cloth cleansers, I think there is it's 250 ml of product and they do last a real good long time so I didn't really need to pick up one of those anytime soon. But the other things that are new are the tonics, um, so these are very much like the pixie ones. There's also a rose oil and a booty balm and body power cream. I have filmed all of these for you guys, I tried to film as much as possible and also the makeup bits. I just filmed what I could see just so you can see what was available. But what I managed to pick up and the things that I was most interested in were the toners. So I picked up all three toners and also the rose oil as well. So what I'm gonna do is go through each and just read to you what it says on the front of the packaging and also just tell you a little bit about the ingredients. So ingredient wise for me, I tend to look for, if something says, for example, it's a rose toner, then I expect rose to be in the top five listed ingredients on the back of the packaging, because obviously then you know that you're using a rose toner and it's not just saying it and you're using something else or rose is really low down the ingredients list. So that is a good tip to look out for when purchasing skincare in the future. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So let's get into what I grabbed. Now the first thing is the Healthy Glow Glycolic Toner from Audi. This says it's an exfoliating toner with 5% glycolic acid and it also has aloe vera and ginseng in it. Now I do actually have the original Pixi versions for all the toners, but I don't have the Pixi rose oil so I can't compare that completely, but I will just let you know about the ingredients. The Pixi Glow Tonic, the, all the Pixi products were very kindly gifted to me. So this is a jumbo size of the Glow Tonic, but I will be basing it on the 250 ml size. Both of these do have 5% glycolic acid in and the Pixie Glow Tonic Original 250ml is £18 and the Audi Healthy Glow Glycolic Toner is also 250ml and this retails for £3.99. The next one is the Lacura Healthy Glow Retinol Toner. This says it's a multi-action toner with 5% niacinamide, which I absolutely love in skincare. And it also has the 
retinol and jasmine flower in. The pixie version I just have in a mini. I think the mini is £10. But the Pixi Retinol Tonic, the 250ml size is £18. Then the Audi version is again 250ml and retails for £3.99. It's also worth mentioning that all the Audi skincare products that I grabbed are cruelty free as well. Then the last one I have is the Lacura Healthy Glow Race Toner. This is moisturising and calming and it also has hyaluronic acid, rose and elderflower in. The pixie version again I have in the baby one. The 250ml rose tonic from pixie is £18 again and the Audi 250ml is £3.99 again. Then last but not least is the Lacura Healthy Glow Rose Oil. This is a nourishing face oil with rose and pomegranate oils. The Pixie Rose Oil Blend has 30 mils in it and that retails for £26, whereas the Audi one actually has 25 mils, so 5 mils less and it retails for a super affordable $3.99. Let me actually just show you what it looks like inside. It's very, very pretty. If you're into displaying all your skincare nicely, it comes in this lovely pink um, pet bottle and it's glass, I think, as well. Yeah. So ingredients wise, the glycolic toner comparing it to the pixie one the first five ingredients are exactly the same which is great and this is actually the only one where the first five ingredients are the same i will list down below because all the ingredients have such complicated names that i can't pronounce so i will have a list down below of the pixie and also the audi versions and just listing the ingredients that are exactly the same in the order that they're read out on the back of the packaging. The rose oil, I think it's the, the first two ingredients are exactly the same and they actually smell the same. The Pixie Rose Tonic is one of my favourite toners. I love the smell of this and I also find it really hydrating on my skin. Um, so I'll be interested to see if this performs as well. Then the retinol toner, I don't think the Pixie one has niacinamide in and actually this Lacura one appeals to me more just because it has the retinol and the 5% niacinamide but the ingredients are definitely not exactly the same. Lastly moving on to the rose oil so ingredients wise there is about three ingredients that are exactly the same with regards to the top five listed ingredients. So now I am going to move into the demo. I'm actually going to be filming this on a separate day for you guys just so you can get a full spectrum from morning to night of how I would incorporate these into my skincare routine. Okay, so I've just double cleansed my face. It's the morning, so we're gonna try out the glow toner and also the rose toner, and then I'll do the retinol toner and rose oil this evening. Let's start off with the glycolic toner. I think I'm gonna do, um, the pixie one on my left side and then the Audi one on the right side. So usually how I apply the pixie um, glow tonic is with a cotton pad. Let me just get a couple of those. First of all, I'm gonna go in with the pixie glow tonic and I just do like a couple of pumps. That would be for the whole face. Um, and I just wipe it all over and down the neck and then next would be when I would go in with my toner to rehydrate. The Pixie Glow Tonic has a really nice pleasant smell to it so I'm wondering if the Audi one will be the same and especially how it feels. I mean 
I've said this to you guys before when I do test out skincare on a first impression. Obviously, I can't really tell you how it performs fully because I haven't used it enough. But what I was thinking is I might do a review roundup of all my Audi skincare that I've been using and just share with you what I found good and beneficial and what wasn't really working for me. I mean, everything is really affordable anyway. So if you do want to try it, then you're not paying out loads to try it and you do get a decent amount. Now we've done this side, let's go in with the Audi version. This is a pour on method, which I think the Pixie 250ml is the same. I think this has only got a pump just because it's bigger. Just gonna pour a tiny amount. Okay, it does smell the same. I would say this is a little bit more potent. I mean, the thing I like about the Pixie Glow Tonic, I do like stronger glycolic acids as well. But the reason why I like the Glow Tonic is just because it's nice and gentle for every day. And I've mentioned this before, it's a great one if you've never tried glycolic acids. It's a good one to sort of ease you in. Um, so yeah, this feels really nice. Obviously I can't say more than that at the moment. Usually these make my skin feel really refined um, and glowy, but I would need to use this a few more times. Let's go in with the Rose Toner now. Let's start with the Pixie Rose Tonic. Usually with this, I just pour it onto my hands and then dab it into the face. I mentioned that the Pixie Rose Tonic is um, has the most beautiful smell and it's super hydrating and I just love how it feels on the skin. It's like, it gives you an instant boost um, and it's lovely to wake up your skin in the mornings. Let me wash my hands because I don't want to have the scent of the Pixie one on my hands. So much so that I can't smell the Audi one. This definitely smells very similar, but I'd say it's just slightly different in the scent. But it feels really nice, really refreshing. And um, I think this would be a good one in the fridge. So I'm really liking the rose toner. I think this is more of an instant thing with regards to toners. It's really nice and refreshing and it looks Nice, my skin looks hydrated. Hey guys, and welcome back to the evening. Now again, I have double cleansed within my nighttime routine, and now I'm gonna go in and try the retinol toner. But first, I'm gonna pop the Pixie one on this side. I usually apply this retinol Pixie toner onto a cotton pad again and just swipe it all across my face and neck. Now this one definitely has a scent to it as well. It's not as potent as the others, but it almost smells like lavender to me, but it does say on the front of this pixie one that it's got jasmine flower in. Let's go ahead and wipe this all over this side. This is supposed to replenish the skin and on the back the pixie one says it's a multi-action treatment with time release retinol. Now again, with regards to the Audi version, this isn't gonna be an instant result. I am gonna have to use this over a period of a couple of months. On the back of the Audi one, it says this is specially formulated with retinol and 5% niacinamide to reveal rejuvenated skin and helping to reduce the appearance of signs of skin aging. And this also says that it has just a flower in. So let's get another cotton pad and pour this onto this one. This definitely smells the same as this, but again, it's just a little bit more potent, like the rose toner that I used this morning. But it feels really nice. And actually, this is a nice one to use at night because it 
it's got such a soothing and comforting smell to it. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is just finish up my skincare routine and then the last thing I'll do within this nighttime routine is apply the Audi Rose Oil. I've just applied my face cream and now I'm gonna go in with the rose oil. On the back of the box it says that this Audi one is a luxurious blend of botanical oils and vitamin E that helps to nourish, soothe and moisturise the skin. The skin will be left looking healthier and more radiant while natural oils will deeply moisturise. So it smells beautiful, it smells like rose petals, you know when you freshly pick roses you know that are scented they just smell so gorgeous so that was four drops that i just popped in and i usually just pat it into the skin the consistency of this i've just poured a bit more out is i would say a medium consistency it's actually a bit more like a serum but it still feels really nice on the face i will keep you updated with this one but i would say first impressions the rose toner is definitely my favorite i could feel how hydrating this was and then i really enjoyed just applying this retinol toner it just felt like a pleasure to use and especially of an evening like i mentioned before so i hope you guys really enjoyed me demoing all these products and i will definitely be doing an update in the next couple of months so guys thank you so much for watching give this video a big thumbs up if you did find it helpful and also let me know in the comments down below if you managed to pick up any of the skincare products and what you thought of them all. I really do hope you can still get your hands on a lot of these products. I know when I did go in to get the toners, there was absolutely tons there. They are actually all in one box, so you do have to hunt through to find which one you want, but hopefully you can still get your hands on these. And I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. I'll also have a playlist down below if you want to go and check out any of my previous Audi reviews. And I will see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.